you'll see a contraction of the muscle. If he turns the gear up, you'll see a larger contraction. We can tell the phasing between. You can see Mark is not a trained cyclist because we get this. <laughs> we get this. I actually didn't mean to make that. <laughs> you get this phase shift, this displacement between the activation in his quadriceps and his hamstrings. Um, if I get anybody else up here who, is a, who has been cycling for a few years, your body will actually become more efficient and you'll see that that displacement gets smaller. Our idea is to make that happen much quicker with visual feedback and also we will instruct you what you're doing. Uh, over on the left hand side you can see the cadence, so no more need to uh, clip on a cadence meter onto your bike, it's all built into the band. What's not shown here is the heart rate, we have that working, uh, hydration, and uh, acceleration. We're actually also embedding an accelerometer in the band because it's very interesting to look for gait problems when you're running or even when you're cycling. Like right now I can see Mark is cycling like a frog almost. He's got his knees out, but it's not a problem. <laughs> but we can detect that, right? You're supposed to, when you're cycling for endurance especially, you have your knees slightly in. You're more aerodynamic. And also this will help you avoid injuries. So we can detect all these things. It gets very, very cool. Um, yeah, I was going to say, can you go <laughs> faster? And I think Mern's record is about one. Let's go to the one. The uh, hamstring and quadricep activation, just two simple bar graphs. Now, normally they go much higher. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's fine, it's fine. It must be faulty circuitry or something. Anyway.